So to start, can you give us a brief overview of the Good Neighbor Pharmacy Network and the work you engage in with independent community pharmacies? Really, we've designed the Good Neighbor Pharmacy platform to address four key needs and areas for our customers. Number one is to uh, protect their business operations and their profitability in today's really challenging environment. A lot of that has to do with uh, really the reimbursement uh, contracting with the PBMs and payers. And so we advocate strongly into our contracting for appropriate um, and adequate reimbursement to compensate the pharmacists for the care that they provide you know, in their communities. Number two is uh, we deliver solutions and expertise that help to attract new patients and new consumers to these independent pharmacies and also to help them retain the ones that they have. We all know that consumer and patient expectations are continuously evolving um, and we make sure that you know, our solutions evolve as well so that we can continue to enable our member stores to engage with their consumers, new and old, um, in the way that those consumers want to be engaged. So that's number two. Number three is we offer support and solutions to help them expand their business, expand their services beyond the traditional retail dispense. A lot of examples of that. Uh, pet meds is a, is a perfect example where we've expanded. We help them grow into clinical services that generate different streams of revenue and income and better solutions and service for their patients. Uh, so that's third. And then fourth, uh, which is also critically important, is we advocate on their behalf at state legislatures um, and certainly in Washington, D.C., for needed reforms and change, change in terms of uh, reimbursement and payment reform and also expanded pharmacist scope of practice. So really, when we look at all of the services and offerings under the Good Neighbor Pharmacy platform, every one of them are aligned with one of those uh, four key objectives.